YouTubers, what you're looking at right here is an actual real live over Unity charge. This battery, okay, when I first bought this from the store, it originally had 2.596 volts in it, and now it has 2.605 volts in it. This one, when I first got it from the store, had 5.199 uh, volts in it, and now it has 5.249 volts in it. I took them off the circuit, so they're just now settling. This is amazing. This is incredible how these batteries have ended up with a voltage that's higher than from when I bought them from the store. Okay, these batteries, I'm not showing them to you right no, now, nor am I showing you the circuitry, but I'm going to show you that later on. Okay, there's no fakery going on here. This, this is, this is a real, this is a real packed charge. Okay, this is authentic and genuine over unity charge into this battery. And I've done this twice so far. I've actually swapped the batteries over, okay? And now, if this was fake, if this was a fake surface charge, uh, or this fluff voltage, the moment I would swap them or draw current off of them, this voltage would just simply vanish. It would just, just, just evaporate. But that's not the case. This is a, a, a real authentic charge in this battery so uh when i draw current and i have drawn current off of both of them um successfully without dropping them below the voltage that i bought them at in fact the uh and when i drew current off both of them and then i i took that load off they both uh bounced back up a little bit and they haven't gone down below from where they started yet so this is an actual over unity and, and I hope physicists and scientists alike take a look at this I mean it's already a, a fact that uh, the universe um, the space surrounding us in outer space is actually full of fluctuating energy it's a it's an ocean of seething energy and that is what has entered this system and i will show you the mechanism to cause the ether to flow into our system and i'll show you this step by step okay but just go down below to the uh my uh the website i have there and i will show you and reveal to you how to do this. Nobody else is going to show you anything like this at all. When, you know, the secret is very, very easy. And, and the circuitry is, is equally as simple. You know, a, a six-year-old kid could build a circuitry. It's not that hard. I will show you how to do it. Okay, when nobody else has. It's taken me a while to get there. But I finally figured it out. And I want to be able to share this with other people. Um, but nobody's going to show you. You can look all you want all over the internet for, for over unity, free energy proof. And you're not going to find it. Uh, and you're not going to find anything that's going to show you evidence. <coughs> excuse me, evidence or proof of over unity charge stored in batteries. Okay? But but I do. So just just go check out my video down below. I mean my website and uh I'm gonna show you exactly the mechanism to trigger the ether the flow into a system of batteries to overcharge them so they have more charge than from when I got them from the stores. 
I'll also show a Faraday cage over the entire circuit to show that there's no outside power signals or radio signals or anything like that entering the system. Uh, I show the system still working when I turn the, the meters off and even disconnect them right here to show that they have nothing to do with it. It is a real authentic charge from the ether. And I will show you how to do this. So, thanks for watching and, and subscribe to my channel if you're new to it. And uh, please go to my uh, website and, and share this video as much as possible. Thanks. Okay, it looks like I've reached the end of this. It's gonna. This is as far as it looks like it's going to charge. I mean, I packed it in there pretty good. Um, so I managed to get about 5.24 volts. It's on its way. It's it's struggling to get there, but it'll see. It'll get there. It's getting there okay. And this is almost right where I want it to be at 2.61. So it's like one more millivolt away. So maybe we can catch that drop down to zero. And when it does, I'm going to disconnect uh, the circuit completely. And uh, we'll see where they settle at. See where the bolts just settled down at. Um, okay, so it's been two days so far. Um, I kind of changed things around a little bit. Uh, I just took off the uh, circuit completely. And this is where the batteries have come to rest at. See that or not? Let's 
So this one is holding 5.225. This one's holding 2.623. So that one started at 2.599. And this one started at 5.199. Which is basically 5.20 volts. Rounded up. Um, so I'm going to do a couple load resistor tests. I'm going to pull some current off of these to show that it really is truly holding that charge. <laughs> 